So we have um, the binomial tree set out, and we can see that the tree uh, is reconverging. Um, we should also try just to look a little bit at how the code or the the coding of the tree. We can think of the tree as being coded as uh, the stock price and then S I G. So the S I G is if you like a form of grid reference for discovering where in the tree we are located so um, in a sense the si the s11 s12 we might consider uh, the cells here as being organized as um, rc and the first letter denotes i the second letter denotes j so this is the first but then following on there are two when we go one period on there are two asset prices and so we if you can imagine this is row one so and column two so three denotes the third column the fourth column the fifth column the first column the second column the third the fourth the fifth and then each row row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. So we think of the rows as being organized as going across and the columns as going down and the second number denotes the number of the column. So column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5 and the rows uh, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. Okay, so we can just take this down a little bit. So this is S11, S12, S22, S13. If we were to write this up as code, if we wanted to set out the option valuation in terms of code, we could say the I donate, uh, denotes uh, the row. So we could say first column, the first row is 1, and it goes to n plus 1. So there n was equal to 4, n plus 1 would be 5. So we can see that here. This is the 5. So we have, we go in this order. Um, uh, i is equal to 1, and we keep doing 1. And then j is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we look at this code, it is we go, we go one, and then we go uh, starting j is equal to i to n plus one. So we go j starting at one, and um, and then it once we go through the, our j, right? We go back again i equal to two, and starting. Um, a two, so we can imagine. Okay, so we can take. Let's just take this code for a moment and copy and paste. I'll just paste here com for convenience, right? And we can think how the cells fill up. So we start with I. Remember, we're saying this is the S I J. Okay, so we can think of i starts at 1, so i starts at 1, and it's, it, um, okay, so we go 1, and then j starts at also at i, so i is equal to 1, so um, we start at 1, 2, 3, Four, five. So the way the cells fill in is we start at i first of all is one. So i i i i in order same order as here s i, which is locked at one initially, and then the j's run through one two three four five. So our j here goes from one, all the way to n, which we said is four, plus one, which would be five. So if our number of steps is equal to 4, the number of columns we have go up to 5. Then once we go through uh, j, uh, 
once we go up to five we come back to i again and now i would start at because we had done one before now we would start at two and j would start also at i which would be two and it would be um i j so i is two then three then four then five and then completes the loop goes back to i and the new i would be three but also j would start at three as well and continue up to five so three four five and then we go to the next i i is four and j would start at four and then go to five and complete and then i would go to five and j would continue up to start at five up to five so just as once so that this code here it generates this uh, sequence of c so that the most the dynamics would start here go across then start here again run across then start here go across start here again and then here that's the sequence if we followed uh, the pattern of the loops and note that the spot is s11 okay and our 100 so our spot price as here would have been 100 and then um we have u is equal to so we could think of um s let's think of s to five which would be if we think about s to five s to five would be here right and according to this it would be su squared so s to five so um j is equal to five and um, minus so we can think of j as being five minus two is three so u to the power of three and then we have d multiplied by d to the power of so i minus one would be i distance uh, distances would be two would be one and u uh, u to the power of three by d to the power of one would be equal to u to the power of two okay so we can follow the sequence like so such okay u to the power of u to the power of two okay which is what we have here okay so let's take this out remove this okay next step in terms of a uh, sequence of code is to look at we generate the tree which is what we've done here the next step in terms of our code we go back to the original code so we have the parameter inputs we generate the tree next step then is to generate the value if it's a call the value of the call is given as s minus k or zero okay so go back into the, to the spreadsheet and we could say equal to maximum of and we're looking at s i n plus one and um s i so we can think of the s as being the terminal stock price so it's equal to a maximum now again i here denotes one two three four five so if we just go over here uh one two three four five so we're going through a loop let's take this down i is going through a loop one two one two five if you like so one two three four five and s i one two three four five n plus one is five it's the terminal set of stock prices so we say minus k and k is given as 100 as well we f4 the dollar rise zero close brackets 
and we can pull that down one two three four five okay so if we subtract 100 from 149 49 18 100 subtracted away from 122 is 22 100 from 100 is zero and then we only take because it's maximum we only take the positive values through the series so that's if you like the second set of code we have used in the developer right the set the <clears throat> if you like we've generated the terminal stock prices and then we've worked out the intrinsic value the options at expiration for each of the different outcomes in this case we've allowed for <clears throat> because there's five four steps there's five different outcomes okay and the last step then involved is we must build our tree so we must take these values and then we must filter back through the tree okay so initially what we have if you like is let's take this down one go across with the same set of values as here so we can replicate our tree the intrinsic value the options are the relevant values here so when when our tree is generated um, at the end with these terminal stock prices the intrinsic value of the options are these and to set out this function in the case of a European option we want to take these option values and filter back through the tree to generate a value back here and we use the this uh, option valuation so if you like we generate we say the option value we take this as our starting point is equal to exp negative the rate of interest so the rate of interest we've already been given is five percent and it should be negative negative the rate of interest we'll f for that by the time period in question and the time period in question if we look at our code the time period in question is the change in the time period so that's dt and that dt we've already worked out to be equal to the 0 0.25 and that also is tolerized because it's going to be constant and we multiply that by the option value if the stock price goes up the option value if the stock price goes up and before that we multiply by p so p risk neutral probability is this value here f for that multiplied by the value of the option if the stock price goes up so this cell here plus one minus p this value f4 close brackets multiplied by the value of the option if the stock price goes down and the value of the option if the stock price goes down is the 2214 and then we close out the brackets and we have this value so let's and we have 36 23 so if you like the basis of this it's first of all we're going to look at a European option this is how we generate this is the formula that we use we've set up the cell referencing to be consistent with this we can pull this down again four steps then we can pull this back we can pull this down three then pull back one and again the cell references are locked so again we have this we can pull this down one and we can pull this back and interestingly the value that emerges here is same is exactly the same as the value that emerges here so let's just color coordinate that a little bit just to take that into account and pick a color like this red and likewise and let's make the rounding of the same order so we have seven five five two three okay let's go back okay we get the same value in each instance 
okay and keeping in mind this value is generated by the code in the tree 